Welcome back to the channel guys, VST here on SPSEC and this is the Galaxy Enhance X. It's an AI photo upscaler and magic editor. And yes, this application has been made by Samsung. So for some reason, I just got a ping from one of my buddies, YDG. Respect to you, he gave me the information that this tool was released. And we know that Samsung loves to do things with photography, like the Expert Pro, etc., which actually was covered on my channel quite a lot and a few times. I was like, what is this thing? It has been released probably before the 7th of July, because the last version, 1035, is from the 7th of July, 122 megabytes. Let me show you guys what it can do, read the description, install it and test it, but apparently you can repair your blurred pictures, you can also brighten up pictures, take it in the low light, fix pictures, click from digital displays, which is, I'm gonna test this, I can tell you. And you have more AI tools, and you can upscale your images to higher resolution. Now we know Samsung has a few tricks up in their sleeves with the whole remaster functionality that was stuck in the gallery, but what the heck is this? Let's read through the Galaxy Enhance application. It's a one-stop AI solution for all media enhancements. With a single tap, your image is analyzed for imperfections, enhanced and refined to a higher quality. I think it installed, let's keep reading, AI-based techniques can be invoked by a user to both repair and enhance the images stored in the gallery yeah, you can remove unwanted blur reflections, which is actually also part of the remaster. You can at the same time you sharpen and upscale, improve dynamic range and brighten up photos. Both the original photo and the enhanced photo are saved in JPEG. Well, this really sounds too good to be true, but I'm installing this and I'm gonna test it with one of my own photos, guys. So let's start but before we start make sure to subscribe to the channel guys it's very easy you just you know what to do right okay do this and uh, let's open the galaxy x ai what magic where who enhance images with a single tap all right brighten up cool fixing blur fix more remove the more part from a picture and we're gonna test this i'm just gonna take my laptop there shoot a picture and see if that happens this is actually gonna be the first things i'm going to test all right done i'm gonna of course allow the permission now select picture okay let me just do the first scenario all right guys i have my monitor here and i am now shooting at this picture that i shot myself a few days ago and although not ideal, yeah, we can just still see that it's been taken from a monitor. So what I'm gonna do right now, I'm gonna go back to this creating application and I'm gonna select the picture. Let's see what the tool itself is gonna tell me. Okay, wow, fix more, okay. Fix more removes unwanted patterns from pictures of digital screens. I pretty much sure think that I have this effect right now. So, okay, let's just press continue, perfecting the pixels enhancing my image and guys i'm just gonna also show you the original because oh my god that's not bad at all by the way yep all right can i zoom it yeah i can zoom it by the way yeah yeah you see what it's doing guys on this original picture we clearly can see the more all right and see what will happen after i apply this processing yeah okay now let me just try to then apply this edit, fix more. So I'm gonna hit now the fix more button and the picture should actually be already improved. So, yep. And am I able to, <laughs> absolutely guys, this absolutely works then. All right, so the first scenario was a good one. I now have loaded a second picture guys and I'm gonna press the magical button. All right guys, let's keep testing. I'm gonna load another picture shot by myself and see what we are able to do. And the best part that I like, besides all the tools like HDR, Brighton, Fix, Blur, and etc., is the fact that you just have this, see for yourself, adding magic button, which really makes all of this so effortless, right? And of course, powered by Samsung AI and etc. And we know it works. We know it works because we have the magic eraser, we have the remaster function, and I've tested all of them, and they were actually doing quite a nice job. Now, right now, if I need to tell you guys what happens with this picture, I'm not quite sure. You know, the picture was already like perfect, right? Something is happening on the water, but let's try to explore now one by one. So the HDR option is the third one, perfecting the pixel, enhancing your image. The whole UI gives you this sensation of using something new. It's really not typical Samsung. I do like it. 
and by the way it takes a lot so right now guys the HDR has been set at 2 and we can just see by the way so this is after and before so on my left hand side is the original picture and on my right hand side right now is the after one let's try to amp up the HDR to 4 right you can just see guys you can just see it's really almost like blown so much to a point where yeah it's a bit over process but I use here some of the manual sliders to really get this type of imagery so honestly I will not change it right but we see that we are able to apply HDR. Now let's see the bright one. Bright one is interesting because this picture was really short at sunrise. So I'm just interested to see what the Brighton option will give us. And the other interesting part, as I'm doing this of course in real time, it's really not so fast, which means that the AI is calculating probably thousands of combinations to really get the best out of your pictures. Or maybe this is just wishful thinking. Let's see perfecting the pixel, enhancing your image, maybe like 20 seconds, and this is on the Exynos 2200. Wow, I can imagine how long it's gonna take um, yeah, on some of the older phones. It's probably gonna be tough. All right, the Brighton now, so again, set at the center, which is two, and before, after, I think it's not so obvious like the HDR. If I go to four, though, it gets a bit more obvious, and this is actually something I'd like, so I'll probably just save that one. Let's try to see what happens when we go and use the sharpen function. So if you're watching my channel for the first time and you enjoy cotton like this, guys, you know what to do. Subscribe. All right. Sharpen only gives you one option to apply this edit or not, right? There is nothing in between, so I will apply this edit. I decided to test the fix blur option, and of course, I'm using one of my photographs, which is an almost NASA quality photograph of the moon using the 100X. Not, of course, but all right, the joke was good, so just pay attention, guys. This is the real picture, this is the after part. I'm gonna zoom a bit and please focus on this thing here. This really looks like the Star Trek Enterprise. No offense, Trek is right, but let me just show you guys what happens now. If we go and see the original Star Trek Enterprise, it looks a bit dull, right? After, you know, we are trying to fix the blur, I think it gets a bit more sharp and it really has some contour. And we can also see this here at the edge, guys. Look at the edge, right? There is some kind of blurriness overall. And now with the fixing the blur, it's gone. So definitely I'm going to apply that one. And I'm, of course, not going to stop only there. So I'm going to take my NASA almost quality picture of the moon, not and I'm gonna press sharpen and just see what happens because the removing blur thing is probably just another version of somehow applying a bit more sharpness so this is the after picture let's try to focus now again on our little friend the Star Trek Enterprise and definitely guys there is definitely a change I'm not sure if this can be seen in the video but I can just see this with my bare eyes and honestly guys the picture at the end really looks impressive and of course we're going to be testing more so yeah go to more and try to load up one of my portrait shows to test the face and the portrait things we can do with this tool all right so load up my face and i'm a bit disappointed to see some of the good old chinese things you're able to do like smooth up your face which why should someone do this but see this here is the before picture guys which i don't believe is really like the way i look i mean yeah this is just me and when i apply this smoothness see what happens all right i'm not really a big fan of using this and overall it, it works see like somebody took something and just painted all over my face but this thing works right and um, then we have tone right which i'm not sure what probably means um just leveling up yeah I think I'm sure it just levels up a bit the color. See here, my forehead, guys. And then, of course, like this crazy AI part, um, you know, like remodel your jawline. And I'm not sure if this is Oh, it does even work with my beard. See here, guys. All right. See how my. I'm becoming like slimmer and slimmer, etc. And probably this one is just making your eyes bigger. Yeah, okay. Now, not so easy with my eyes. Yeah, see? Yeah, see how my eyes are moving, guys? Yeah, all right. Well, this is not really impressive. We've seen this in some of the Xiaomi phones that I've been using. And there's also portraits. So let's just see what we're able to do in the portraits. Now, this is not a portrait photo, right? Uh, but apparently you are able to play with the background and try to apply some different levels of bokeh. Yeah, that's actually what it does. So it's another, like, I used to call them like fate portrait generation options and it's not bad why fake because this was not shot as a portrait picture right oh my god that's not good this was not shot as a portrait picture but you are able still to create the bokeh effect 
Oops, yeah, I think not so bad at all. So really, I'm really impressed with what you're able to do with this tool. The only concern that I have is that it works a bit slow. Uh, the only probably reason for that is because it's just been made to work on other Samsung phones. So guys, Galaxy Enhance X, test it on your Samsung phones. Do let me know how it works. Do let me know if you like it or not. And if you like videos like this, you know what to do. Subscribe for this channel, guys. And please stay safe, you and your family, until we meet in one of my next videos. And with that said, VST over and bye.